Hello everyone, Chris again. So we're back down the uh, pump lake for the next three days. So, well three nights actually, four days. So I've got some running repairs to do on my trailer. So uh, this is a World War II trailer. I bought it for 30 quid from a bloke in Hackney. So it had all the old lights in it, but they've stopped working since. I've had it about five years now. So I put all new LEDs in it. So I've got to take all this off today. Put some wood filler in there, repaint them all up, right thing. Had a little bit of a punch and I can't get these tires anymore. They're like original tires. So I've had to pump those up. So I've got it up on a block at the minute. Uh, we've got some kiln drum wood. Got some beer and I've got my electric chainsaw there. So I'm going to be chopping up some stuff. So that's Steve's stuff. And then Steve's got the hot tent TP. Which, what TP is that, Steve? It's the Polymori, uh, Pomoli, Pomoli, Pex Plus. Pex Plus, that's the six man, isn't it? It sleeps four to six without the stove, mm. and two to four with the stove, yeah. but I'd recommend two people. Yeah, definitely. It's tight, it's tight. Yeah, tight as a tiger. If you just want to sleep, then it's four people, but yeah. if you want to socialise, like sit in there and yeah, as I say, it opens right the way up, turn the sun, you can have it literally wide open. That even flaps back as well, and then so does another this one as well. Yeah, so, well. literally, the whole structure stays up with everything open. So, if you're after a hot tent, come for one of these. But, um, there is one thing I've been looking on YouTube about, and it's uh, you get hot tents, but has anyone ever seen a hot bivy? So, what I've done, I went onto the uh, website. Uh, went on the one tigris and they do a fireproof stove jack for nine quid so i already had this uh, fortress bivy two-man bivy and it had a hole in the side so it would have been chucked out right but basically where the hole was was the best place for it to be because i've actually sewn the stove jack in and then cut a hole inside took the uh, material away and i've actually now built a stove inside my fishing bivy so I spoke to a few of the fishing guys here and they were saying, what's that? You know, they've not seen it before. So, uh, yeah, this is the stove bivy or hot bivy. So that's a stove jack. So literally, a bit of stitching around there, cut a hole in the middle. Just make sure that's not touching. That's okay. And yeah, I've got my little stove inside. Just put my wood in there. I can cook on the top of it, keeps it nice and warm. Carbon monoxide tester there as well. So yeah, I'll be testing this out tonight. I've used it a couple times before, but this is the first time I filmed it. So yeah, should be a good one. Uh, I see I've got my chainsaw with me, so I'm gonna go and get some uh, dead standing wood in a minute. So there's lots of it here that needs tidying up. So, and I'll tidy all the lakes anyway. So I'll go and collect it all, chop it all up into like eight sort of inch pieces, and it all goes in the stove. Uh, Steve's got his stove in there as well. He's got a Winterwell stove as well. So yeah, we should be nice and cosy tonight. It's going to be 18 degrees today, nice weather. But tonight it's going to go down to like 2 degrees or maybe a little bit lower. Um, these hot tents are not a new idea. Because I've seen them like on the internet. Uh, Lone Wolf 902 and all that sort of thing have got them. But they've got like a fishing shelter. They're bigger, they're more robust and they've got the stove jacks on. But this is the first bivy I've seen with a heater on it anyway. So I thought, right, let's get on film before somebody else does it. So I say, we're here for three nights, four days and I'm not going to be cold and we're going to cook some nice food later as well so yeah let's crack on getting unpacked It's a big bit. Yeah. Is that your new knife? Yeah, well, I've had it about a year now. Where's your new one? Uh, in my work bag. And the other one's in my lightweight backpack. But this one I take big counting. Because this is where I'm going to be chopping up bigger lumps of wood, see? I put the, I had the axe earlier on. Oh, put right. it in the cupboard. <laughs> I put the split out. Holds the way, mate. No, no. I everyone mean, puts, you know what I've noticed, everyone puts their axe away. Everyone does it, even I do it. I've got three axes, 
And I think, no, too heavy. And I'll put it back in the cupboard. Yeah. We've been in my bag. This is. Since your dog. Yeah. But the day I take it out, the day I actually probably need it. Yeah. Well, I can batten that with this. You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck me. Language. Let's cut that bit out. Didn't realise you were. You know, it's a me make up one. Yeah. Well, look at this. Oh. What are you doing, Steve? What you got? Um, right, I've got the the Jackery Explorer. 240. Yeah. Um, you've got two USBs, a free pin plug, uh, a car charger, um, and that's it. You can charge it up via solar panel, which yeah. is over there, the Jackery 100 watt solar panel, off the wall um, from your car. You can plug it into your car. Goes in, goes into there. Um, you can reverse it back so it goes back from here into your car so you can jump start your car and stuff like oh, that brilliant. Um, so yeah it comes with, a free, comes with a free pin plug so you basically just plug it in like that bang that's it <laughs> yeah. press the button the green light comes on so now output input I've got 20 watts coming in from the solar panel yeah and I've got output oh I've got nothing oh dear it, oh yeah 14 watts 14 16 oh that's good yeah here we go so we're charging the battery for the chainsaw yeah yeah good happy days he's got his little stove set up in here yeah, yeah. home from home mate all the home comforts even mate. the fire extinguisher look yeah yeah carbon monoxide alarm and that can be used on its own can't it with usbs yes. in it you can charge your phone yeah if, if you look on the back in here You've got a uh, USB port and a USB C port. All right, okay, cool. So that'll charge up the phone quick. Sure, yeah. will it? In a bright sunny day, yeah, it will. And you know, the thing is though, if you're only going for one night or one day, you just take the solar panel. Yeah, exactly. You don't need the big, big head. Well, well the the, um, the panel, uh, the power generator, solar power generator. I think it weighs 6.4 pounds. Right. So it's quite light. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually put it, it's, it was actually at the bottom of my Bergen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk far with it. With but you can, it's like carryable. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, brilliant. And then I suppose on the other hand, if you've got the winter, you can take the power bank and leave the solar panel behind. Yeah. 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 Cool. And then you can power. And charge it up at home. Yeah. So you can, you can buy lights, three pin, three pin outdoor lights. Yeah. That basically you can just either put them on the outside of your bivy, TP, um, oh, cool. or you can put them on the inside. Nice one. Yeah. I'm coming around and watch telly later. Yeah, mate, I've got the Look at there, there's the pauper's tent, look. A fire and that's it, and the chainsaw. Pauper's tent, mate. <laughs> but we're going to be sorted for later. So, yeah. We're good.
Have you got your plate or bowl ready, Steve? Right, morning everyone. Had a nice warm night's sleep in the hot bivvy. So yeah, done really well. So I woke up a couple of times just to put a bit more wood on and just watched it crackle through the night. It's amazing. So yeah, it's really good to come out really well. So this morning I've got some hot dogs for breakfast. So yeah, might do a couple of fried eggs with it. But yeah, it was a nice night. Sun's out again, so yeah, happy days. So I just let that warm up, we'll have a chill out, so yeah.
I've got to show you your dinner. Huh? What you got for dinner? Well, I ain't ready yet. No, I know, but... I mean, it's got to boil down. Yeah. Let me take one glove off. I'll put one glove back on again. Right, are you ready? That's the reveal, look. Oh, look at that. Cool, yeah, you can smell that, can't you? Yeah, what you got in there? Yeah. Got potatoes, carrots, bacon, chopped up chicken, it's all been pre cooked and then just thrown in here. Yeah. A couple of uh, oxo cubes and a few uh, herbs and spices. Nice one. Yeah, I've just, got, you know, it's all cooked. Yeah, I smell that vision, mate, that smells lovely. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Is it Lone Wolf? Is it actually oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my new Lone Wolf. <laughs> with the uh, kangaroo pouch. Oh, nice one. It's quite handy. Keeps you warm. Keeps yeah. you warm, yeah. Yeah. Good fella. <laughs> Good channel, eh? Good. Channel. If you like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. If you like it about these tents. Yeah. In minus 35 degree temperature. Can it? Yeah. Then, yeah. He has a lot of rob. Mm. He has a lot of rob in noodles. Yeah, yeah. Mm, cool. Some of them sleep without a tent. Yeah. I'll have to have a look. Lunch, got hot dogs, chucky eggs, baked beans and sausages, and Steve's doing the mushrooms and the bacon <coughs> and some eggs as well. Yeah, nice breakfast. Well, lunch, breakfast, quarter to twelve. We'll use the uh, chainsaw again, little electric one, cut up some more kindling. It's really hot at the moment. Yeah, it's cooking really well. <laughs> Here comes the bad man. Chris again. So we've had a lovely weekend. We've done uh, three nights, four days over at the lake. So the uh, bivvy done really well. So we're just calling it down now, emptying it all out, ready to pack away. My friends Nettie and Chris have come over for the night. Hello. Hey, happy days. <laughs> had a good night's sleep. No. Wonderful. Wonderful. No. All right. No. He got pushed off then. <laughs> and Steve. Hello. Happy days, mate. This is the horrible bit, the packing up. Yeah. yeah, we've had a really good few days. Got a bit burnt as well on your bubble. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers that come in. Um, next time we may be wild camping somewhere or we may be down in some woods or anything like that. Or we might be doing a, on a ghost hunt with Contact Made. So look up Contact Made on YouTube as well. So they're quite a good uh, channel to watch. So thanks everyone, see you all later. Bye, Bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>